is Nicholas Petrie with a, a speech entitled Rubbish Thinking. <laughs> Rubbish Thinking, Nicholas Petrie. Rubbish thinking. What a mess! What are you guys doing? I'm always cleaning up after people. Particularly you. <laughs> What's that up to here? People are leaving rubbish everywhere. And you know what else ticks me off? Toastmasters. Rubbish speeches I've heard over time. Rubbish evaluators I've heard over time. And rubbish judges <laughs> over time. Rubbish thinking. curbside collection. The truth is, I'm a hoarder. I love rubbish. What is rubbish thinking to you, Madam Contest Chair, judges and fellow Toastmasters? I've given two very quick illustrations what rubbish thinking is. In the first illustration, did I throw any insults at you personally? Did you feel that in any way, shape or form? I threw a few hand grenades about the presentation of the room. None of you did that. I did that. I threw some hand grenades about what I think about rubbish evaluations, rubbish speeches, rubbish judges. You know what? I've done all those positions. I was probably talking about myself. But on the other side, curbside collection. Now, I'm not sure if you know what curbside collection is. Once every two years in Brisbane, you can put all your junk and your rubbish on the footpath. And people come along, like me, and they scavenge through it. And we take our items home. And then other people take their items home, scavenging that rubbish. Also, the Brisbane City Council empties your bin every week. And I'll bet you, once a day, all of you put some form of rubbish in a bin at home. To me, there's rubbish everywhere. There's rubbish from the perspective of hardcore rubbish. But also, there's rubbish that people throw grenades at you every day. You're too tall, you're too short, you're too fat, you speak too quickly. I didn't like the way you spoke to that person on the phone. You're so rude. That customer service operator, you know how they spoke to me? This is rubbish that people throw at us all day. Sometimes people swear at you. Sometimes people yell at you. How much rubbish can you take from the literal perspective of people verbally attacking you all the time? It won't bother me at all. No rubbish bothers me at all. People can say whatever they want, it doesn't stick. Mud doesn't stick. Funny though, you've still got to wash it off. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say here is that through life, the councils, they give us the opportunity to throw out our rubbish. Like I said earlier on, every two years you can put your big rubbish out there. Every week you get to put your wheelie bin out on the footpath. And every day you get to put your rubbish in your bin 
which gets to the wheelie bin, which eventually gets to the tip. We're disposing of our rubbish. But what are you doing yourself personally with relation to the rubbish that's been thrown at you from people daily? What are you doing? As I said, I'm strong. I'm tough. I can handle it. Toastmasters here. Most of you are strong and tough. You can handle it. You've got good character behind you. But I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the person to your left and right. Or the person behind you at work. Or your family or friends. Who's throwing out their rubbish? Who's giving them a pat on the back to say, hey, great job, you did well. Thanks for setting up the room tonight. That's great. Guys, thanks for bringing uh, treats for tonight. Great speech. Who's giving us encouragement here at Toastmasters or encouragement in our family life with our partners? Who's saying thank you or well done? Or who's there to really say, hey, let's take a seat and let's go and have a coffee and tea and have a chat. We've got to get down to not ourselves, but reaching out to our fellow man. If you reach out to them, maybe, just maybe, you can solve a problem. How many times do you hear people snapping? They just snap. Sorry. Snap. You don't know when it's going to happen. And it only happens for one reason. There's a build-up of something. And you and I don't know what it is. So if you get anything from this talk tonight, every time you go to the rubbish tip, every time you put rubbish in your wheelie bin, every time you put rubbish in the bin, just take a few moments and say, hey, am I clearing the rubbish out of my life? Or at work, you could turn around and say, am I going to give someone some inspirational thoughts at work or at home so they can hopefully get the rubbish off their life? It only comes through encouragement from me giving it to you, from you giving it to someone else. All it is is a simple compliment. Thank you for listening to me. Contest chair.